Are we live? Are we here? Yeah, are we, we live? live? Well, we live. Hey, we live, baby. Yes, What's going sir. down? We back. What's oh. going down, folks? This is episode 54. 54. Oh. 54 of them 50. things. You yep, feel yep, me? Yep. We, we back here. live and direct. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Chilling like we do. How's everybody been doing? We we skipped a week. Yeah. So Excuse apologies me. for, oh, man. Um, oh, hey, right. better, you, man. better out than in. Yeah. It's a powerful beverage over there. Powerful. We skipped a week because of unforeseen bullshit. Yeah. That happened. Oh, okay. Let them yeah. know how you really feel, man. Lock I mean, it was up. BS, man. Yep. It was BS that whole we got a strike, so we yep. couldn't really record because you wasn't going to be able I'm to see it. I'm in the process it. of uh, suing for emotional distress. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> fact, so. uh, Sean King, Mattress Mac, Quano <clears throat> X, anybody, whoever. Man, I'm hot. Man, we get another right strike. Not Mr. X. Because you so. niggas have the nerve. Right. <laughs> right <laughs> That's yeah. what the next We let you come be. back. You right. niggas have the nerve. We can, we can actually get you for them other videos. I need compensation. Yeah, nah, big fact. And we weren't really mad at me, Kenya, man. I know we did the skit. It was actually supposed yeah. to be just funny. Yeah. Um, but we know it's more of a YouTube thing. I mean, mm-hmm. even a video came down, but it was back up right. um shortly mm-hmm. after. I just felt weird that, you know, multiple people react to it. And, you know, no no telling what happened to anybody else's channel, but we know it's, it's the YouTube, YouTube algorithm. Yeah. It's, it's the YouTube it's, game. It's it's a it's a hit and miss. Yeah. It's really yeah. hit and miss. You know, it's just like the uh one we did with adult films. Like the, yeah, the bad was, acting in adult films. That was funny, bro. Super hilarious. Wow. Man. They never got into any scenes, of course. Granted, we never even appealed it at the time. It's still yeah. up there. We could yeah. appeal it, but it's we'd rather not just deal with we the hassle. To take it down. Yeah, it's just it was it was funny though. Like I said, it was it was one of those type of videos where the algorithm I don't know it just picks up on something. They be like, hey, yeah. whoa, what's what's up with this? It was like, what the original videos up? So you know, what's that's the, that's always the weird thing to me. The original video is up. Channel. Hmm, but you know what? And too, like, granted, our reaction watching the you know Me Canyon Space Jam was kind of I was already at my end. <laughs> I never wanted to begin actually yeah, with me, Kenyon, but that really had me on that like, ah, uh, yeah, it, that was gonna be our last me Kenyon video, and yeah, yeah, yeah they they, they definitely they, sure. they oh, made oh, sure oh, last video okay, but right, yeah, that, that was that was gonna be the last before, one. Right. You ain't getting away free, right? So you yeah, skating but out of this. That's why there was no podcast like last week, but we're back. You know, we got we of fresh. course there's interesting free, topics baby. to we talk fresh. about. It's a lot, man. It's a lot been going on. Beyond a lot. We we like, missed a lot, uh, mm-hmm. but make sure again y'all join um, the channel, subscribe. We do got more skits yes. in the work. Yep, on so the way. Please make it's sure. Good. I know we've been saying it for a while. I don't want to continue to say it without putting action behind something, Thanks. but we definitely got some stuff in the work. So yes, stay man. tuned for that. Follow but, Steve's channel too, man. Steve, yeah, yeah. Steve, Steve, doing his thing. Steve is doing yeah, his is thing now as well. Shout out the channel. I am working. SDJ Productions. Follow SDJ me. Productions. Mm-hmm. SDJ. Yes, See man. how that was so cool. I caught a SDJ. Couple, you know, so like mm-hmm. yeah, I, I caught the uh, the Tory one. Oh yeah. Um. No, 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 no. The Polo G one. My bad. Yeah. Polo G. That, that track and that that, that video was. Fun. Polo G is hard, bro. It's like I don't know. It's like it for a weird in a weird way. He still kind of separates himself from yeah. everybody else because I feel like everybody else kind of sounds the same to me mm-hmm. he but in a, a reason mm-hmm. Polo G I can always kind of it's like his music is distinct to me for some mm-hmm. reason right. I don't know and he knows how to pull you it's like a it's an emotional attachment to the track like yeah. he brings you in yeah he does and it's all, always relatable like the mm-hmm. Martin and Gina video mm-hmm. and stuff like that like when you getting content like that bro it's like man yo I gotta dude is doing more than just Bubblegum rapping. He's actually yeah, putting yes. themes and shit behind it and whatnot. So, um, but yeah, a lot has been going on. Um, this is the day after the verses. Yep, so, yep, yep. Um, beforehand, who did y'all have winning Dipset oh, or the Locks before th- things even Dipset got started? Dipset all the way. See me, bro. of course. I'm a Dipset Diplomatic guy immunity. Mm-hmm. Okay. Dipset anthem. Like Diplomatic Jewels, immunity struggle. Chilla mm-hmm. Cam. Like, yeah. I know personally, like, I feel personally that, like, Jada Kiss and Styles people. They can rap better as far as like right lyricists, yeah. But you thought like but hit I didn't for hit. Think Dipset would get stomped out. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. I don't know what the way they got stomped. So y'all out. feel like it's one of the biggest upsets in verses. Yeah, no, it, regardless, it was still entertaining. Like, mm-hmm. but I just did not expect 
the locks to like pretty much body them mm-hmm. the way they're supposed they to. They walked like, in and man, they did, bro. Jay Z was not playing no game. Jay Z, Jay the Kid's not playing I'm no game. Who? Wait, I didn't I'm know like, he was yeah, part of the. Whole other thing. <laughs> I know they so, got stories, but yeah, like, <laughs> it was just it was just ridiculous, man. Uh, I had my problems as soon as they were announcing <clears throat> <laughs> Dipset. They came out like two minutes later. I'm like, bro, what is going on? Why are y'all not there? Mm. Like, I don't know what was going on with that. So, fun fact, I didn't watch it. Okay, mm-hmm. but I've seen I, a lot of the highlights and stuff mm-hmm. like that. I didn't oh, watch. This, I didn't watch it either. I watched highlights, like you said. Yeah. But then I also got commentary from people that I trust. Like I got a right. homeboy that's like straight out of New York. I got two homeboys that are like not Compton. Like what? Okay, got you. <laughs> what? I got another homeboy that's like from the same same hood as like uh, Jewel, <laughs> Joel Santana or whatever. Oh mm-hmm. yes. And, oh, okay. So he was all for Dipset. And then he came in there. He's like, bro, Jada Kiss really, like he really manhandled them. He took man's jewel santana bandana off and yes bro i, felt, I'm I like, felt disrespect but at the same time i had to give it to them. y'all they, gotta be the they body coolest them. friends if y'all if you if you done that like mm-hmm. a lot of people saying like bro it look like they're about to fight but they're lucky you know they are cool with each other but even mm-hmm. still that's like the, know how jim jones is the mannerisms from i mean yeah. but yeah jim jones may be like that but yeah. what happens when you meet Four other niggas is just like you. Like, yeah. it's like yeah. ain't no nobody. Timbo's engaged. Oh yeah, yeah. See, you know, I feel like yeah. <laughs> Tim's Jake engaged. Had the, Tim's. Timberlands on, so you yeah. No, that's probably why it was a flawless victory. And, and that's really so, just New York culture. Yeah, oh, yeah exactly. they, they aggressive. They won. Shit. They won. Aggressive. But New York won that night because yeah. being from Houston, like I never really grew up. I can't yeah. personally say I grew up listening to neither one of them because mm-hmm. um, by the time I was really into music, I was really catching up on a lot of the Houston people, you know, Screwed Up, Click, yeah. Zero, mm-hmm. um, Trey, Kiki, Slim mm-hmm. Thug, you know, so I, that's why I feel like for them it was more like a, because New York is on that pedestal, mm-hmm. it was really a New York Eastern, East Coast type oh, yeah. night. For you know sure. Even they, from they Houston, like, of course, you're familiar with, uh, of course, Jada Kiss or the Lost. Yeah, no, no, yeah, of course. Like, of course. I, I get high, that yeah. one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, the dip set, it's like, uh, we can get it on a night. Mm-hmm. And then, like, oh, boy. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's just like. Yeah, they all got you, tracks yeah, that they they are worldwide that yeah, like, yeah, people yeah. knew about. Exactly. You know? But Jada, bro, he was saying, bro, we got Grammys. These niggas got yeah, Grammys. Grams. We ain't yeah, yeah, I seen that. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. He said, they don't know about Grammys. They only know about Grams. Joel, I don't know what. Made you rock what you rock, but uh, yeah, that was it, was it was definitely some Harlem stuff. But yeah, I was like, this is from the somebody said Jewels look like um, the clothes that's fresh out the laundromat yeah. on the <laughs> side. Facts. facts, like the facts. clothes in the yeah. corner that you like, ain't folded mm-hmm. yet. It looked like facts. it fell in the closet. Like, <laughs> I was like, bro, I was seeing all the and the somebody. memes will let you know. <laughs> he said he had Gucci, Fubu, South Pole. Yeah, yeah bro. I was like, Dog. yo. <laughs> he fell in the stuff. closet, but bro. that's that's Joel. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Real, yeah. All them stuff. Hey. That's, that's but see, with that type of drip on, you would think they' about to go in and like they just didn't deliver. Man, Cameron, I guess he held it for them, but it still wasn't enough. Yeah. Hey, Jada, you know, Jada's Jada, one thing I've always known just that nigga was the MVP. <laughs> not, not growing up on <laughs> that, that, but he Jada. Did shit first. I did. <laughs> yeah, right? He did. He did. He always he was the, the MVP. Man. He definitely MVP, man. Jada been doing his thing. Mm-hmm. Like, not even growing up on their music, I always knew Jada right. was that dude, especially Ooh. lyrically. Oh, definitely. Like, mm-hmm. can't really especially mess with, with him. That, what, that why song he used to have? Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah, that was back in 04. That's Boy. when I really knew who Jada Kiss was and stuff. Yeah, we gonna bro. make it. We gonna long. make it. Yeah. We gonna make it. Exactly. Yeah. Nah, he been, he been a true MC. Yeah, facts. So we gotta, I'm, I'm personally glad that, not saying people haven't always, but I feel like like um, he got his respect around the country. Oh, he got he his getting his flowers. flowers. He, he getting, getting his the flowers because he, he flowers. he's always been one of them MCs that people didn't have in a top five. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, he definitely wasn't in mine. Nah, it's t- he's still. I, I mean, mean, he's still not in mine. He's still yeah. not. Yeah, but, he, but technically I my him per- more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right now, I've been hearing people. Remember, I was talking mm-hmm. about that early. Like people, know, oh my god, nah, he's definitely top five. I can't deny it. And it's just like, man, that's what's so frugal about people. It's like when things happen. Situations happen. You neglect what a person been doing, right. and you kind of like try to mm-hmm. give him all the credit in moments. Yeah, like, give him his credit for his entire career. He been yes. consistent. He been doing his thing. Yeah. Why is it now that you haven't been giving him the appreciation? You know, <laughs> like, like I didn't know uh, the all about the Benjamins, the P Diddy song. Jadakiss yeah. yeah. wrote P Diddy's like inside his verse. Yeah. I was like, damn. I well, didn't I mean, know that. P Diddy. So, but you know, right. not P Diddy's. You know, that he, ain't surprising. You know, <laughs> yeah, but I didn't know it. Jadakiss wrote. Not like you said, Jay or anything, right? P Diddy. All right. I heard he's dating young Miami now. Is that true? Yep. Well, they they messing around with each Ooh. other. P Diddy. Yeah. Damn. That's, 
My that reaction. Man, real sugar daddy, man. Yeah, for real. I don't get it. <laughs> we gon' make it. We gon' make it. He get what he want. Yeah. But what do you feel like as a son? Like, what? Well, imagine you and your dad out here and your dad dating girls. Well, that's how it your was age. with uh, Lori Harvey. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, uh, mm-hmm. what, was, what was his son's name? One of them, I forgot. He was somewhat well, messing with. I couldn't imagine. Son. I couldn't imagine my dad. Yeah, okay, the yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. They were Justin. Yeah, yeah. They I think were, yeah, Justin. They were messing with the same. Well, he was he was, he was dating like, her. And Can then you imagine going that, back and forth with your dad trying his, to win chicks? His dad started messing with it. I was like, "Whoa, just, that's y'all chilling in y'all room." Did he just start shimmying in the room? He's like, "Y'all need take that, that. take that, take that, take that, <laughs> take, that. Dabble, take, dabble, that. Dabble, take yeah. that, yeah." And you just you know <laughs> down why, somewhere you know, in the, you know in why the he, kitchen area just he come yeah, in there. Crazy. You know why? You know why he rich? Start. We ain't go with no. We ain't going nowhere. We can't be can't stopped. Be stopped. Now. No. It's just bad for life. I hate you, Dad. <laughs> no, yeah, but I'm always taking my women. I, made no, you. I could not imagine that. So yeah. uh, I, I don't know. I didn't know that until today that he was dating her or messing around. I didn't yeah. know that. Did just, just did it? If I was a premier like billionaire, a, fifty old shit, I probably he's in say. another status. He can do what he wants. Yeah. yeah, I mean he can. Do what you want when you pop him. Yeah, all it does is give her flexing. They give her flexing powers. Yeah. Yeah, man. And at the end of the day, because the way she be talking, you think she be like dogging niggas or sunning niggas? Yeah, right. you wouldn't expect her to do that with like an icon like. Oh, um, well, Diddy. that's not happening. It's Diddy. She's not doing that to Diddy. Yeah, she getting the bread. I got, I got Diddy now. Oh, I'm so sure. Yeah, I'm just that's, like, that's, just, that's, just still, that's enough for me. Yeah, that's, that's that is enough. Yeah, I wish they was on that Jeff Bezos shit. Yep. Like, yeah, exactly. Mm. I mean, granted, we don't. I mean, we don't know what Jeff Bezos doing, but we he know. Keep it we low do key. know. He trying to get. He trying to get oh, the, uh, the alien. Them alien <laughs> uh, oh yeah, he definitely can. He definitely. Hey, I'll be back to the moon real quick. Is Jeff Bezos out here dropping a hundred million dollars off on Van Jones? So, Jeff Bezos. Okay, because I was it true that. He told him you can do whatever with that money. That's yeah. what I read. Because the, ri- I mean, the original said. post, that's I what was I read. told it was strictly for charity. That's if what it's I strictly read. for charity, I'm sorry, bro. That's what I read. I would have. I would have. It was strictly for charity. I'm sorry. Like, I or did he just give it to him just off the strength? I oh, feel man. like you can do whatever you want, whether that's charity, yeah, whether that's taking care of you yeah. and your family. Facts. I mean, I'm sure he probably will donate I'm to some sure charity because that's enough money to change your life. And your children's life, and your grandchildren, and your great grandchildren. Like, that's yeah. generational exactly. wealth that you'll be sitting on for the end of time. So, I'm sure he'll probably donate I to don't give a some damn. type of charity. What do you do? But yeah. that's a flex. That, I'm sorry. That is a that's a flex. That is. It's a. Do what uh, you want with 100 mil. It, that's a, a rich, wealthy man. This man with the space in the I don't have to. Like a different word. Not rich. Well, a wealthy, wealthy man's flex. Yeah, I ain't got to show you all the fancy cars, the fancy houses, the fancy yachts. I can just give this type of money to someone that I, I'm cool with. Oh, I'm going to give you $100 million like it's a dollar. And I'm going to yeah. show you this Yo. spaceship. <laughs> Yo. While I get off the spaceship, oh, man, this was amazing. You want $100 million? Here you go. I'm actually <laughs> on Mars right now. <laughs> I'm on Mars the, right now. The motivation. Because you, you, you know what? You some money? When you're that rich, you can say what the hell you want. Yep. yep. You can't okay. cancel that dude. You can't, bro. You can't. It's, it's too... Really can't. Bro, <laughs> this nigga is going point, to right. other planets, planning yeah. to go to other planets. That's 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 uh, one percent Instagram of the world me. type Insta- shit. Instagram trying to block me. Look, if Instagram try to block uh, block me, I'ma buy Instagram. Exactly. Yeah, he could, and then just if he really some, wanted to, let it just go to. Or you know, he could be in the talks of it, media, like uh, pretty much. Hmm? He can make his own social media. No, he Damn. could, bro. I mean, like. He can hire a whole company. As a black community, I feel like we need to make our own social media platform. We've had it before. Yep. Like, what, black people meet? No, it wasn't Black Planet. Black Planet. Like oh, yeah, back in the day. Black, black Planet. Planet. The we problem need a, is. We need a modern, not dating. problem is just having that, that, that type of platform is it will, it will be more or less the same. It really will, bro. Only because people have this, this mentality, especially when it comes to our community, to, to quickly... Shut down whatever any black person is doing, whether it's positive, we'll be quick to find the negative in something. Well, you know what I'm saying? We gotta change like, that. And, yeah. and it sucks. We gotta change that. And no, it kind of goes into the, the the whole the baby situation, bro. I don't know how oh. many how many black people I saw in the comments section. Yeah. 
I'm going there today. But I don't know how many people he about I've to seen. Leave, that's why. So he, <laughs> he ain't got to be here. To, he he got an escape route. He don't got to catch this Houston smoke. Exactly. Uh, yeah. I've uh, seen a lot of people. Where you going? Especially <laughs> we're not okay. let's talk about what we're talking about. I've seen a lot of people, especially in the black community, really go on this 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 tirade against someone in a situation, and we'll probably get into it. But yeah, the yeah. point I'm trying to make is go ahead. You started it. Oh, all right. Well, the baby's comments. At uh, was it uh, rolling loud? Rolling loud, you know. Mm -hmm. If you've been to any type of party, any type of club event, you've heard these things before. This yeah. is not. This is a way to hype up the crowd to get the crowd, you know, you know, invested in what you got or what your next set about to be. That's literally all it is. Not intentionally trying. It to is move. not to intentionally go against a specific people or a specific race or whatever the situation is. I've heard those exact same things mm -hmm. many, many times. Right. Even from big artists, I've, you've heard it. Hell, DJ said it on a weekly basis. They yes. They random shit. Yeah, yeah so. <laughs> I mean, you get cussed out at the beginning of albums all the time. Exactly. Shit. They be like, motherfucker, fuck everybody, fuck you, fuck the, fuck the people that's in the back of the corner, fuck right. all y'all. Like, that, that's that's the way a lot of albums, songs, yeah. all that shit start. So for this to. He just said some shit. Yeah, yeah this wasn't even no. I don't like, think he was even thinking it. He like, wasn't. It was he, very man. random, it, I'll say that. Couldn't have been. But the fact that it was so random just showed me he was just freestyling. Like, yeah, right. he was just saying he's it in wasn't the moment. premeditated. It he wasn't was like, basically just yeah. trying to pump y'all up to pull your lighters out. Yeah, yeah. bro, that's, that's what he did. He was like, it, bro. Oh, shit, somebody sucking dick in the blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> if you ain't sucking dick, hey, put your lighters up. That's, yeah, yeah, if you ain't got A, or HIV, put your lighters up. Whatever random shit came to his head, he said it. It wasn't it wasn't like some shot. Like I'm trying to, I'm getting killed on the fact that people like, oh, what about people that got HIV? It's just like, wait, didn't weren't we throwing whole HIV concerts? Yeah, like and it's like you had to get tested in order to get a ticket to go. Yeah, so I'm sure the niggas who was positive was positive didn't feel like turning up that day. <laughs> like yeah. I'm sure niggas there's there's a lot of other things on your mind. Somebody right. going to the baby or, concert. Yeah. I got a lot of other things I'm trying to figure out right now. I'm not being insensitive. Yeah. All I'm saying is if I find out I'm positive, the last thing I'm trying to go I don't do give a fuck about a concert. Is hear little uh, one. This man, I'm, bro. That's a real thing though. Like that the last true, thing though. I want to go do is hear Lil Wayne, Rick Ross or somebody turning up on bro, stage. Bro, what what was it called? They used to host it was the, uh, yeah, they used to have them in Houston. Yeah, it was it weird as hell. Wasn't it the HIV? What was it called? It was some HIV event that they had all. The time. Yeah, it mm -hmm. was. It was always a party. So mm -hmm. all I'm saying is not like I'm not laughing at the situation. Yeah. What I'm saying is so the what, last thing you usually worried about yeah. is, oh damn, I'm about to turn up now. No, a lot of the people. Yeah. What are you, <laughs> I like the. <laughs> I like the idea because it was getting people tested. Yeah, yeah and that was the the, the message, the, yeah. the purpose the, of it. If you just found exactly. out you had it, you ain't you know, like. I'm not going to the concert exactly. no more. I'm about to break down. Like, you okay, know. How but the point is. is, at the end of the day, it wasn't. It shouldn't have been taken to that, that extreme. Far. Now it, I yeah, get, I, so. I get other people yeah. being like, "Oh, it, it came off insensitive." That's fine. That's cool. But, but I feel like he apologized to those people initially. Yeah, he was like, "Man, if all y'all being sensitive, my gay sub uh, supporters know." Exactly. Yeah, like I, I don't mean no harm. Yeah, yeah I wasn't, bad. my intention wasn't to hurt anybody. People but if you felt bad, wait. he was like, "My bad for people." If you if you did feel some type of way, I didn't mean. But it wasn't good enough. It you wasn't good enough. Kind of being just like crazy is that he kind of somewhat is like he co-signed, you know, I guess Tory Lanez. You know, he's mm -hmm. one of the very few artists that. Yeah, Still he rocking with him, mm -hmm. and now this shit happens to the baby. It's just like weird, bro. It was, it was like I mean, find a way to cancel the baby now. You know, for well, I'm I not mean, saying that's the case, but and honestly, I don't it's, think it's, it's gonna hurt him too bad. I think he's gonna bounce back pretty well. Oh no, nah, he will. Nah, for sure. He still has his fan they, base. They knocking him yeah. off a lot of stuff. Yeah, like, hey, it's right. that's the trend that's to do. Just, it's I feel trend. like they getting like somebody else mentioned before. I felt like this as well before yeah. I read it. That was free publicity for these festivals. Yeah, no, that's the, exactly the what it was. the festivals, people didn't even know where even The trash can festival. Yeah, I did not know. We yeah. took the baby yeah, off of it. Like, what, nigga? The only one, yeah. I, the the only baby one I knew was, was, a, was a Hala Palala, whatever the hell it's called. Like, yeah, Lala, 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 Lala Palooza. He's a Hala Palala. Hala Palala. That's been around since. <laughs> Hala, Hala, Hala. Hala Bro, they had a meme I had posted on Facebook. It said, uh, the baby has been canceled from the Holy Convocation event. And it's like, the Convocation will not be having him, but we yet will be praying for the baby. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was exactly. like, bro, everybody's so, just canceling. And just the fact that because. he apologized again, now mm-hmm. more label How many times based. You apologize, bro? Now more yeah, label you. based apology because I feel like he was really trying to go against the fact that, yo, yeah. my intentions was pure. If y'all for trying to make me apologize for something that I know I didn't mean to be right. harmful. And I know his PR team was, come on, man, just apologize. Which is why mm-hmm. they then went ahead and put out the Instagram mm-hmm. apology that yeah. I feel like they did. But they, now people are like, oh, it's too late. Is this and this This and ain't that. authentic, though. But it's not exactly. it's just label that wrote it. I'm it's like, at the on, end of the day, man. that's why I always say I'm very thankful and I'm very glad that God is not like you humans. Woo. Because y'all are so quick to just dumb somebody yeah. and throw and them away. And then hypocritical as hell. Very. That's Very. the worst part. I'm like, you just did it's that because, last week. It's because it's not publicized, though. Mm-hmm. We don't know that. So we don't know your 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 skeletons are hidden on broad day like his is. Mm-hmm. So it's like you can do certain things in your regular life and not get exposed because there's no one to expose you on this mm-hmm. scale. Mm-hmm. But now that you have somebody, I mean, that's for all celebrities. Like I, I have that. I've always had that, you know, feeling towards celebrities because I'm like, damn, like a bow wow. Like, just imagine how you were as a kid to now. Like, if people was able to see every stage and moment, it's just like, damn. Like, I can see how I'm this, I'm this, and I'm that because right. my whole life, my growth, my mistakes, everything is on, it's on your television set. Like, yeah. you get a bird's eye view of everything going on in my life as I mature through the stages of what this thing we call life. Mm-hmm. And because you can do all those things without getting that much criticism of millions of people, it doesn't make, I mean, that's why some people get suicidal. Mm-hmm. Um, that's yeah, why that's, people don't have strong mental health because we're so quick to just right. tear you down and just throw you away. Now, if the baby had intentions of actually being malicious, Yeah, go man. crazy. But- mm-hmm. At the end of the day, when a person themselves say, "Hey, man," I, and you can see from the video, he was just really turning up. Yeah, niggas yeah. was throwing shoes and stuff. I watched it because I was trying to understand what it was that yeah, he, I was that he at said first. that yeah, was that's so, so controversial, horrible. Like I'm like, it was like you know, maybe if I was taking everything he said personally, maybe I took it offense. Right. But when I go to a concert, I just listen to lyrics. I'm just like, right. I'm listening, yeah. like I'm listening for the vibes. I'm here for the vibes and enjoying myself. So when I heard him say what he said, I was like, um, I don't. I don't know how this affects me in any way to where right. I have to yeah. cancel him. Yeah. Like, uh, people say stupid shit like this all the time. Yeah. I can only imagine a Pimp C right now because Pimp C, oh you, a, God, you, ain't no, you ain't no, you a fairy, you know. This, oh, there's yeah. a lot of shit he'd say to a lot of people that he ain't just having. Like, not yeah. everybody accepts you know certain lifestyles. The sad truth mm-hmm. is, I'll, 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 and not to cut you off, man, I feel like Houston would have canceled him. Just like how they did with Trade the Truth, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, unfortunately, man, him, Bernie Mac, like, bro, there's a lot of people. I'm like, you know what? If they were still alive today, bro, I think about that all the time. You know, it's crazy. You can't imagine, like, because mm, mm, I was, mm. I was just talking with my uh, homeboy about That's Dave crazy. Chappelle. Mm-hmm. Just oh, old Dave Chappelle skits, like mm-hmm. they wouldn't make. It's the nigger family. Oh yeah, yeah, like, none whoop. of that, none of that would have fly. Done. Like, yeah, it wouldn't <laughs> work. Especially the, the 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 gay one. He did. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The gay KKK and all of them. I'm like, <laughs> bro. But the crazy thing that people. It amazes me that he doesn't particularly point at one person. Exactly. Like, why is it that Family Guy can make it? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like they've, they, they've added some restrictions to it. That's the weird part. But they before were, they were like, oh, not before South Park, Lose oh, Cannon, yeah. South yeah. Park, Park, Park Family Guy. Was, uh, but you knew they. Uh, I mean, more Family Guy. Like they get it, everybody. Yeah, yeah like, everybody, everybody pretty much gets it. That's game. the same thing with Dave Chappelle. Like it was always a skit. For someone, even in his stand up now. Mm-hmm. But you know what's so funny when we say that all the time, like this person would have. You notice how all the people that probably would have stood up and said something aren't here? Yeah. Yeah, I believe. Like it. you thought about that? Like yeah. a Tupac, a Biggie, oh, yeah. you know, a Pimp C, um, a Bernie Mac. And I mean, the list goes on yeah. for people that probably would have been like, man, nah, man. We just, you know. Oh, uh, uh, Patrice o- O'Neill? Patrice mm-hmm. O'Neill. Bro. You know, like, Paul Mooney passed. Paul I mean, Mooney, he was, still he was saying one of the last stuff. realists. Yeah. Bro, his stand-ups were about legendary. Charlie Murphy. Uh, Charlie Murphy. Mm-hmm. I mean, everybody right. was just so vocal about what they felt. And it wasn't, you're not, it's not that they are being insensitive. Exactly. It's just like, man, you can't make me think nothing. Bro, I'm a firm believer you know? of constructive criticism, bro. Like, mm-hmm. it may be aggressive, but like, it can be lucky one of the, like, some of the realest words you ever hear somebody say. And I'm all on so, intent. I'm, yeah. I'm intent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What is your intention behind what you're saying? Are exactly. you? Because my thing is also, it's like you, 
for a lot of people, like growing up in Houston early on in life, like we're not as as being a I guess a straight male. You're not used to, I guess, just accepting you know, being a straight Christian male. Yeah, you're not used to just accepting that gay is okay. Like, yeah, it's yeah. not saying that it's not okay. It's just you're not used to accepting that. Are you not used to adjusting to that? Lifestyle? Or religiously, it's not even. Yeah, it's not. It's mm-hmm. a sin. Like yeah, like so many other things. So it's like it's certain things you adapt to because you know you start to get your own thoughts and you start to get your own understanding. Like I, I love everybody. Like I don't have any issues with mm-hmm. exactly, sexuality, uh, gender, whatever. I don't care. Yep. But it's like you can't expect people to immediately be like, yeah, uh, gay is cool. Like when they're when it was just like I, I remember in high school, I remember a gay dude got beat up just for being gay. Mm-hmm. And that was in mm-hmm. high school and that, mm-hmm. not that long ago. Right. <laughs> so, it's a decade. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. a decade. But still. I didn't want to say decade, but yeah. yeah. I didn't either. But still. Yeah. But still, right. regardless, like that was still just 10 years ago. Like a gay dude just got beat up. So that's that's that's. Like you can't really expect people just to immediately be like, yeah, I'm I'm cool with that. Like it's just it's not gonna work that way. So like right. just canceling everything is crazy because some people are still adjusting. Some right. people are still trying to understand the other side. Right. Mm-hmm. Some people are just trying to get like a open minded perspective. Like that's what I try to keep an open minded perspective with everything because I'm like I don't give a damn what you like. You can like a guy, um, a man, boy, a dog, right. frog, whatever. I yeah. don't care. It ain't so, got nothing to do with me. <laughs> it's like it ain't got nothing to do with me. So I Just personally as long don't as you give cool, a damn. Bro, and your morals are, you know, you know, okay. Yeah. You know, you facts. ain't on no dumb shit. Just like course straight people, you know. Same. This is about being being civil in general. Just bro. being civil. Hey, mm-hmm. cool I'm with a, me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I don't care what you like. Exactly. I'm gonna say it like this. Religiously, I don't agree with it. Yeah. Right. But religiously, I don't agree with a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Religiously, I don't do everything that I'm supposed to do. Mm-hmm. So at the end of the day, I'll never say it's okay to be gay because religiously it's not. But religiously it's not okay to do a lot of shit Mm -hmm. that we do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But what I will say is what I will say is I don't go around with a pitchfork in my hand looking for anybody living a life Mm -hmm. that I'm not living. Like, I'm not a person that smokes weed or nothing yeah. but for the family and stuff that i know who do mm-hmm. i personally feel like religiously that's not okay yeah but i don't yeah. walk around with it i mean you can be smoking right outside and i'll dab you up i'll hoop with you mm-hmm. same th- i mean that's i feel like that's the same thing like with somebody being mm-hmm. homosexual like I don't agree with the lifestyle. Exactly. That does not stop me from being cool with you. That does exactly. not stop me mm-hmm. from being able to answer the phone. That does not stop me from treating you like a human yeah. being that you should be treated. Mm-hmm. Because, because I don't judge you. Because right. I have my own shit. Facts. But you can be, you why can smoke weed and stuff? But like, I'm not gonna hang around you if you gotta smoke weed every goddamn hour. You gotta be out in public trying to smoke. Right. Blunt, I mean, is, yeah. I mean, stupid. In my opinion, like you need to chill. <laughs> right. I mean, you need to chill. You got you got an issue if you got if you do that. But it's like we're not we're not out here like trying to destroy people's lives, nor do we advocate for exactly, people destroying exactly. people's lives. Because we're not mm-hmm. judge, just drug, because or execution. Exactly. We're not, we're not so just trying to stay out the way. Man. We it's like, okay for all of us to have our own opinion, right. our own beliefs. But it exists together. Facts. That's right. the Cohesive. thing, bro. Exists like, together. I think that's something that people in this world don't understand. I like, just, we, we ex- we're supposed with, to exist. Mm-hmm. I just had a conversation with somebody about that. It was like, it's why does why do people always have to have one extreme to the next? Extreme exactly. About everything. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I was having a conversation about uh, about how the Texans. This is a, a Texans talk mm-hmm. I was having. I was like, hey, the Texans won't have the worst record in the league. Do they won't like, have the worst? He was like, well, you think they're going to be good? Da, 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 da. I was like, I never said that. You just said they're not going to have the worst. I said they won't have the worst record. Right. Do you want to bet money on it? And I actually betted him. So <laughs> I'm about to make $200 off him. But, <laughs> you know, regardless. I went big. Y'all didn't even baby <laughs> step. Oh, I'm not playing because I, I I think people don't understand. No $20 I, I'm, around a, here. I'm an analytical and very statistical right. guy when it comes right. to football. So when it comes to football, I'm like, you so know, how's your one out of team then? So what's up then? I'll be winning championships. Okay, big. But it's right. it's one out of thirty two teams. You got to understand this. That's a very low percentage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> First off, Man. and then you got to understand that the same team is not the same team as last year. It's a right. totally different team right. this year. 
So I'm like, and every matchup and then, is if different. If you know any of the players, like I personally know a lot of, like a couple of players. I know the DC Vincent Taylor. I know, uh, um, like, it's certain players that I've watched closely mm-hmm. that I know are very good. And so it's like, y'all don't understand. It's a totally different team. Mm-hmm. So I'm sitting yeah. there, you know, basically analyzing this stuff and letting them know, like, hey, y'all are going based off of old stuff and you're going from one extreme to the next Mm -hmm. but you don't have to go from one extreme to the next just know that they're going to be middle of the pack yeah there's somebody they say (laughs) you can maybe even slightly over you can you can have you can have a you can have a point of view that's different from the next person Mm -hmm. and y'all still can have a common interest understanding Mm -hmm. going forward at the end of the day we we cowboy fans exist yeah we ex- we coexist yeah, with we have, cowboy fans, yeah. mm-hmm. but the love that we can actually say mm-hmm. is similar that we both and all share is the love of just the sport of football. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's just the same thing that I'm saying. Like when people have a differences of opinion with with gender and and sex, right? I mean, not race, but mo- mostly gender, because that's what the whole thing is about. Like mm-hmm. sexuality, gender. People want to be a man and woman, a woman, man, whatever the hell you want to be. At the end of the day, this person, Ross don't have to agree with it. I don't have to agree with it. But at the end of the day, if you speak to me and I'm talking to you like a normal human, I'm not mm-hmm. like, uh, uh-uh, I don't talk to uh, trans. It's I not mean, that serious. <laughs> like, not, so it's not as that long serious. as the person's not doing that, then I feel like we should stop trying to Push uh, 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 an, an, a, a lifestyle on someone. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, I'm not used to that. Oh, shit. you don't like, believe in that man? Oh, I gotta kill you now. Yeah. It's like, bro, <laughs> relax. Like, relax. Like, and don't ever compare yeah. that shit to race. Because I've had I friends and a homie that compared that shit to race, and I just wanted to damn near go off. But yeah. I was just like, yo, that shit will never mix. Because if you driving down the road, nobody said, oh, that's a gay man driving. Like, there's nothing, unless you got a bumper sticker. Unless you're doing specific things. And, like, you got <laughs> right, a exactly. Of stick- stickers exactly. and rainbow colors all on the side of there's your There's nothing just shit. on you that just say, oh, gay. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, Facts. I, I, you can't tell sometimes people from a can to paint. So, at mm-hmm. the end of the Facts. day, never compare that shit to race. Shit, I just learned one of my favorite dancers was gay. Like, two years, three years ago. Ross just told me one of them was gay that uh, mm-hmm. I watch and I follow. I yeah. didn't unfollow him. Oh, ah, got to oh, get this shit off my timeline. Yeah. No, I, that didn't make a difference, but it's yeah. like you didn't know immediately. It's right. not like their skin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you yeah. can't be like, oh, that's a, that's a gay guy immediately. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the end He's of the day, straight. The end of the day, what did it do to your life? Oh, you see how he moving? Yeah. I told what what changed yeah. in your life when you found out he was gay? Nothing. Not a goddamn thing. And that's Still all watch the video. The video fuck I got exactly. mm-hmm. now, I still be watching the videos, too. I'm like, oh, this nigga be killing it, bro. I'm mm-hmm. like, I need to learn something. Facts. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, that's just coexisting. So at the end of the day, Same man, the baby may have said something that you know was probably out of line to people. Yeah, I right. feel like he tried to, with his intentions wasn't to, Let you know, go. what I'm saying, get on anybody or like be malicious. But yeah. we got to be very careful with what we showing kids now because the world they ain't really as soft exactly. on you as what you're trying to make kids think right. it is on social media. Mm-hmm. Like the world ain't that give a fuckish. That we're trying to make them like, you know what I'm saying? Like I can be up in arms or offended because of credit. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, God I just bought this. It. My credit dipped. So I My just, credit should be perfect. Oh, you're a creditist. That's it's a lot. Want. Exactly. A a Why are you a creditist, sir? I'm like, offended. Are you offended because your numbers are lo- just so happen to be lower? Yeah, for like, yes. some reason. I for some reason, because you're offended of your numbers. Like I'm, I'm offended I'm, that you can't give me a perfect. Chair. And I'm offended <laughs> that you judge me on a scale of. Three or whatever to eight fifty. Facts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just give me an eight fifty and I'm good. That's just, that's just one thing. Humans, if y'all are doing, <laughs> we're, we're joking right now, but if y'all really like that's this, reality. Y'all got some issues. I'm sorry. All I'm gonna tell you is, yes. you better train up your children, your Definitely. your uh, offspring, whatever you want to call them, right? To be strong in this world, yeah. Because I tell you, only the strong survive. It's right. always Facts. been like that from the beginning, and that shit will remain to the end of time. No matter what you put in their head. Natural and selection. This past week, after seeing the situation between the baby and Simone, you really need to ask yourself this. You sure you want to be famous? What do you mm-hmm. want to be famous for? Are you mentally prepared mm-hmm. for the pressure that you're most likely going to, you know, what? The pressure you're going to, you know, you, you, Ryan you're going to, Davis you know, asked that question. Is that, yeah, he, he did. Yeah, I'm like, of course, the you comedian? see the money, you know, you see the fame or whatnot. Mm-hmm. He's one of the realists you'll find Outside out. Outside of that, 
like just look at what they're going you know because your life is on your like, life is on display 24 mm-hmm. 7 mm-hmm. like it's, you it's like what dub was saying you know the strong will survive and i believe that especially in the entertainment industry bro i feel like a lot of people especially back then um, i'm like why do some people go crazy like britney spears like back in mm-hmm. 06 why the hell is she going so crazy? But we just like didn't that. even understand that. I didn't understand that at all because she was like the biggest pop star and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Now, as a 30 year old, I'm like, you know what? I understand. I freaking she, get Brady. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. you know, I get the meltdown. Like, shit. Right, yeah, you know, because the it's pressure and whatnot. You know, it definitely is a lot. That's, so, that's scary, bro, because it's mentality. You live a perfect life in front of these people. You mm-hmm. definitely do. And like you make social mistake, media, you're like, now, oh, he's a whole living, person. Living a perfect life in front of imperfect people. Exactly. Facts. That made the same mistakes mm, you made. True. The moment you do that, man. That's a tweet. <laughs> that's a title. Yeah. It is. Simple as Perfectly that. imperfect. Yep. But you know what? How you feeling? No, perfectly imperfect. You start rubbing that. your knee real hard. That's what I was trying to make. That was sure. a good title. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Get a knees warmed up. Knees yeah, warm getting ready. Like it's a lamp getting ready. Yeah. <laughs> but now, at the, at the end of the day, before we get into our foolery, I just really wish, and I really, really, really wish, like, whatever platform we have, if we become like super mega famous or whatever, I just oh, want yeah. people to understand. I'm always gonna stay true to who I am. Mm-hmm. Um, Me too. God is always first. Zero mm-hmm. fucks. I move through God yes. and what I know, what I believe. Facts. And at the end of the day, if you ask me something, I'll tell you uh, the truth of what I feel like my mm-hmm. truth is. But if you don't necessarily, I'm gonna treat you just right. like how I would want to be treated. I'm gonna show you love. <clears> I'm gonna <throat> care for facts. you, no matter what religion race mm-hmm. what your background is exactly. i'm always gonna love everybody and i feel like mm-hmm. if more people in the world focus just on that part right we'll start seeing a change you know Facts. what i'm saying just Facts. that's why I, it, it's funny bro because um crazy to bring this up but uh on our personal channel with me and my wife nisha shout out to nisha sweetheart <laughs> um we we played this game this card game and it's like a conversation starter for couples and stuff mm-hmm. so one of the questions asks if what is it, what is something that you lost um as a what was it what is something that you lost as being a, uh being young or back in the day that you wish you can get back mm-hmm. and the first thing i said was my innocence because my answer was i wish i can get my innocence back because as a child we didn't see color we didn't see sexuality yep. we didn't see mm-hmm. all of the things that we are taught i said cuz with more knowledge is more um more stress. Mm-hmm. The more you know, the more you get stressed out. Yeah. The more you know them, sometimes the more paranoid yeah. you become. Because it's even yeah. watch, like even watching my son now. Like I will watch him and I see him do certain things. He'll be like humping something. And yeah. You don't know he's doing something right. sexual. But he's in your hey, hey, hey. but <laughs> your your knowledgeable mind yeah. goes straight to hey that look like some you shouldn't be knowing about mm-hmm. but he don't know but i'm like he's just enjoying the pillow i'm gonna just let him yeah. enjoy the pillow <laughs> which is so that's the thing like for me it was it was innocence bro because i feel oh, like oh boy <laughs> he's stupid oh, yeah, yeah. that's how you gonna be getting away right? <laughs> but as, as for naturality like innocence because all people that's i feel true, like man. all people come in this world pure definitely mm-hmm. that's one of the biggest reasons most guys cry yeah or me when i had that emotional moment when my daughter was born my first child was because I looked at someone that was coming into a world, you stupid, that just, you was coming into a chaotic world. Mm -hmm. I felt responsible for bringing you somewhere where there's so much hate, trauma, issues, problems, heartbreak, distrust, you know what I'm saying? And I just felt like, ah, like, you so innocent. I'm very undecided, man, if I want to have kids or whatnot. I say that now, and then of course, you know, I can find the love of my yeah. life, and bam, I just start shooting, shooting the club up. But, All right, you, know, you went from zero to like yeah, three hundred. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it can happen. So I don't want to have kids. Right, I might right. just shoot the club. Just shooting the club. Up, club, up, just shoot the club. Hey, y'all, this song, so she love my life. You, you definitely know, having so. a kid. You showed me that you exactly. So you just know, you never know. Mm-hmm. But Sometimes like double saying, you just really got to prepare for right. this world. So. So I'm trying to keep changing. Right. Yeah. My Facts. mind. My mind is always at a fast pace. Sometimes it's just too much work to. Or you know, sometimes you gotta. The club sometimes you just gotta have a three pack just to be there. Oh yeah, three pack. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just the three pack. You just to be that. there. Oh, those three. Oh, not yeah. to use. Yep. Not to use. But I'm just have it on the counter. Yeah. You gotta dust it every few weeks. You can look at it. <laughs> yeah. Right. And I, the and I meant, I meant the dress. And something to carry uh, carry in your uh, carry on. Oh yeah. Definitely. <laughs> oh, my carry on bag. And, and don't take it out the carry-on. Yeah. Oh, my You can keep God. it in your carry-on, you know? What are talking about? Should I take it out the carry-on? Nah, nah, this is my, nah. my yeah. little charm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my 
I don't gonna, think I'm taking it out to carry it. All they're going to do is scan your stuff and make oh, sure there's no weapons in there. But oh my Even God. though that is a weapon. Bro, fuck this. But it's a holster. It is a holster. Just, I was about to say, that's the safety right exactly. there, bro. Oh. He said, that's a holster, bro. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. So, um, anywho, you good? No. What's wrong, what's going on, Ross? <laughs> Ross ain't said two words. Ross has been mighty quiet. He has been. What's going on? Conversation man? too real? No. What? what is your opinion? good. I mean, you didn't finish <laughs> your thoughts on the baby cancel culture. Cancel culture's ass. We know that. Oh, okay. <laughs> that shit is, we do know that. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> self-explanatory at this point. Who it's, is cancel culture? People that feel like their opinion is so great to the point where- yep. Oh yeah, well we can cancel this person because we don't agree with what he said. You got a hundred mm. problems of your own, but yeah, you want to worry about a celebrity that don't know who you are. You yep. see, that's a miserable exile. ass life. Yeah, very miserable. Yeah, like, bro. I just, so I, can I, we I, agree? I can care less. <laughs> Y'all know any friends that argue with people online? Like as far as like over Ooh. celebrity lives? Y'all don't have to name them, but not don't. like I argue. Argue with people online. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, but I'm do, you, do you know a friend that's like really going back and forth with people online? I about know some people celebrity. on Facebook. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen it. Friends, but. I'm I don't really have friends. I just got family. I, got no, I really don't. No. Yeah. Okay, Dom. <laughs> family. Uh, that's, <laughs> it. Really, that's really Nobody? It. Mm-mm, no, I haven't seen it. I don't be paying attention to it, so I don't got care. <laughs> it's like, you have uh, not right. one friend that will cancel you for listening to somebody, particularly yes. like R. Oh Kelly? God. I'm, I'm, I'm sh- yeah. Family. Tori. I will personally bang the music or I saw your house if I knew somebody. You know what? I'm not going to lie. See, that's old me, right? No, that's still right. Me. That's old me, right? <laughs> no, it's not. It's still me. I don't care. What? Oh, well, I thought you said it was me still. Oh, you're right. He definitely yeah. he's super, super toxic. No, yeah. What? Oh, yeah. To make like, some music. You, blatantly, you, you do something on purpose, like with the intention of being ignorant. Like, this case in point, back in the day when I used to come to the north side, I used to jam south side. I mean, we jam south side on north side, so it don't matter. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, it's yeah. just... I did it. I mean, it's cute on purpose. It's what cute. Don't use that. We see the no. light school, light skin guy jamming Southside music on the north oh, side. Oh, they could have found out too. <laughs> no, uh, uh, I was one of the Southside. <laughs> this guy. I was a nigga though. Wow. I was waiting for a nigga to say something. I understand. Something. I'm like, Cause oh, that's how niggas are in general. Yeah, I was just trying to go to Dave and Buster, something like that. You just know, being angry, just to be know, angry. I understand. Where we need to be. Look, shout out to the homies that he know. Because I, yeah. I literally dealt with that my whole life. Like, when I moved down to the south side, I was north side, north side, getting jumped, fighting for no so reason. So sorry to hear that. Damn. Fighting shit for no no reason. And then I was like, I'm not really from the north side because I'm from all over Houston because I moved all over this bitch. So. Yeah, but just don't Basically, claim north side. Yeah, I'm, I still <laughs> claim north side. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I claim north side and south part because I'm a part of you. Them now at this point. Just say that was just a part of you at the time. That was a shadowy part of you. Yeah, Pearland. I even claimed Pearland. I was there. just claiming, yeah, I was just claiming, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing wrong with claiming these places. I just didn't like the people that was from there. I grew up in the nice houses yeah. that just tried to act hood. Yeah, that's that like, kills me. Yo, Shoot. if I came from Pearland, Humble, and all these places, I'd be happy. I'm from Pearland, bro. Hell yeah, like enjoy it. What's when I, I never knew being nice in the house, struggle was the to hood in this big ass house. Yeah, yeah. when mm-hmm. I moved out to a nice house, I was happy as hell. Yeah. I was like, not at first, not at first, because I was still kind of mm-hmm. trying to acclimate. I was I'm trying to figure it out. Pearland, because at first I was like trying to fight people for no I'm like, but she wasn't. Born and raised in a Pearland, humble like the people that's like from from like where mm-hmm. you got like it good. Why birth. are you? Yeah, like why are you trying to just be a cool dude? Just box to box, like even how YouTubers do. They used to like go around boxing and stuff. Right. Mm-hmm. I and just do fun problems. shit. It wouldn't have mattered if I was yeah. born in Pearland. If I still had anger problems, it been I mean, but yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure the anger problems came from being in different sections. So I moved around a lot. So well, so you got a reason in. I used to box for no reason. Yeah, we all have to get shoes. But yeah, you, you was saying though about uh, the three pack. I definitely wasn't saying anything three about plaque, it. I definitely didn't even bring it up. That's the what, thing. What would you say? You still got any more? I did. What? You got any carry on bag? You got one left. Oh, oh Is it gonna God. be in your Nike bag? It's oh, one left. God, oh, just one left. Oh, the man. Nike bag matches the sweater. Oh. <laughs> Are we embarrassing you right now? No, Hell you're yeah. not. I'm chilling, man. Uh, I mean, is it gonna be in your Nike bag? Yes or no? Ross is feeling good for me. Nah, bro. don't tap your knee. <laughs> I don't, man, I'm chilling, bro. <laughs> I'm chilling. I'm be chilling. I'm be enjoying my 
my ah. vacay, man. Vacay. That's it. I'm starting to believe is it that vacay or vacay? means you're lying. Exactly. No, <laughs> thank you. I just it's like, like his nervous tick right no, now. No, it's yeah. not my ner- I'm not He's nervous. Like, I'm chilling, man. I'm just chilling. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really gonna do being aggressive on your knee for no reason. You know I'm mean? not about to do anything. I'm gonna be chilling, relaxing. Steve gave up the location. I didn't. He did. Yeah. He did. That's why. You want to bleep it out? Hey, nah, no, it don't matter. Nobody even oh, knew, shit. Nobody even knew he was going to Baltimore. She that could have been a yeah. random location. She know. Now we know. All right, I'm going to leave it alone. <laughs> See, they ain't even know. That, that was Steve. Oh, my God. <laughs> bro, just, nigga, what's, yeah. the, what's the accent? Baltimore it's don't mean shit. ready for you. Bro, it's Ross, it wasn't me. Oh, All right, Shout out to Baltimore, back. man, but y'all, y'all accent is wild. Ross knew it was coming, though. <laughs> he mad. Does I'm not. I'm chilling. He ain't going to say nothing for the rest of them. Huh? Mm-mm. Oh, I asked him like, does she have the accent? Mm-mm. No, she don't. Bro, you want to really, continue or you want to yeah, go to the next topic? Who sounds first? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I'm, I'm and fine. then we'll know if she has an accent. I don't get it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Yo, what if Ross come back talking like that? I'm oh not, bro. God, bro. I'm, I'm not. Five bro. Days. Not five days. We lost Ross. Bro. Like, uh, nah, nah bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep my. Ross My Ross. Houston slang, man. Ooh, you Ross doing Ross it? Ooh. Ooh. Nah. Ooh. He said, Ooh, you do it. This thing is stupid. Oh, you do it. Oh. <laughs> uh, bro. We like, not going to get on him? Huh? I'm we chilling, man. Me, life, is good, him. Him. life is good, bro. Life is good, bro. That's all that matters. Life is good, man. Ross is good. Good. Ross flewed out. Flewed out. Wait, this this the name of the episode. Flewed out. Flewed out. Wow. Flewed, yeah. You got both. Flewed. (laughs) 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 That is hilarious. Yo, I wish we could tell y'all what we talking about. Yeah, but we yeah. But we can't. We gonna keep it on the hush. Babe, for you and you only, if you know. Oh you know. Wow. This is what rubbing that knee down, boy. You up nigga. (laughs) Smooth. (laughs) I ain't gonna be ashy ever again. He gonna rub his knee smooth. (laughs) Dang, man. I got a question. Yeah. Do y'all believe that little baby is a generation is this generation's little Wayne? Okay, Mm. why? Why why uh I would not say that. Well, Brandon Brand- get pissed off. Wait. No, I mean, I just don't. I Brandon get- always get pissed off with this. Because y'all just so quick, man. I don't. Little baby, he 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 hot. He, but he only been what two, three years in. Like, I understand feature. But he said it himself. He said it himself. Because of because of, of, of he, he's on everything. Kind yeah. of the same way. Right? Like, Didn't he say it himself? I think so. But kind of the same way how I was saying how to the baby, I can understand the comparison only because of the music videos. Yeah, with I'm not saying person. lyrically, but music videos, yeah. I'm not saying lyrically, little baby at all. Because honestly, when y'all, but, when I think of Wayne, I just instantly think of mixtapes. Like, but this is a different era. We not mm-hmm. really mixtapes yeah, like we really that. Ain't. Now. It's so, mixtape EPs album. I don't know what the hell they that drop is albums nowadays. so much. It don't even mixtapes mean nothing. Y'all so, go mm-hmm. plastic rappers. Y'all need to stop doing that. I'm sorry, bro. Like, you can have a new album this month and the next month they might drop another one. So you can't yeah, really. Be, it's, just, yeah, it's a mixtape right. already. Yeah. So that's because of the the, the listeners. Yeah. And so, with that being said, she it's like old quick. the way Lil Very. Baby's on all these features, I can Me. understand the comparison ish. Yeah. I can understand it just based on features. the fact that he's on everything. That's it. That's just an established artist to me, man. Really, if you can be on everybody's <laughs> feature, like Brandon said, I will not accept him. it. Doing, I mean, so you give him that. You I'm give him that. Give you him give a, it to him. I, no, I'm not. Okay, I'm giving him a percentage mm-hmm. of it. Okay. I refuse to give him that. I do title. see the baby being here long, you know, long time. Long, uh, Jevity, Jevity. And I'm, yeah. like, and I'm not even like a, a crazy Lil Wayne stan. I've Juggernaut. never been, never will I've be. I've never been too, but I always preach like Wayne. But I've always like, respected and understood like what he was for our culture. Yeah. I've, all, so, I've always appreciated Wayne. And so with Lil Baby, it's like I get what he's, what he is for this generation. Because mm-hmm. a lot of them love the fuck out of him. That's oh, yeah, what definitely. they love him. And so he's on all these features, so I can understand the comparison in that right. aspect. Now, Lyrically, y'all. not even close. Um, he doesn't really, in my opinion, I don't feel like he just kills everybody that he features on. So yeah. it's not, it, it doesn't give me Lil Wayne vibes. Because Lil Wayne's going to get on there, he's going to eat your eat your track up, and you're Definitely. like, damn, that's Lil Wayne's song. Yeah, and they're like, that's, really not, right. exactly. that's mm-hmm. not even Lil Wayne's song. That's somebody mm-hmm. else's song. Oh, no, it's, it's, his, it's his song. <laughs> no, nah, it's like, his now. It really is. <laughs> Facts. Now, if y'all really want to go deep in like a debate, y'all can easily say, "Well, Starting did the baby shit. take a lot of the fire from the Migos?" That's what I've been hearing. Too. The baby or little baby? Which one? Oh, well, little baby. Okay, yeah, basically, you got to mm-hmm. see. I didn't know, that, I didn't know they were beefing. Like apparently, <clears throat> cool, cool. Little baby and, and Migos. Like, there's always been some like. I thought that was cool. Eternal, That's what like, I thought. No, because recently, little baby. Well, I guess a few months ago, he was like, um, 
oh, we need a little bit of straightening. And he, like, put the laughing emojis. And that was, like, the biggest thing because they were they had issues, like, for a minute with the label. Mm. And then pretty much, you know, Migo saying, oh, y'all put us on the back burner. And now, you know, little Baby is, like, uh, the biggest oh, they're, they're jealous. QC. Yeah, I mean, who knows? I'll tell you right Dave. now. Uh, one so thing it's definitely I'm, some eternal type of issues. Because you mm-hmm. notice, I don't even think little Baby's – is Lil Baby even on any, any Migos tracks recently? Mm-mm. Yeah, Not so recent. I don't know if it's still a situation. Because I know they on the they on the QC, yeah, right? Like QC. The yeah, they on QC. Yeah, so quality, yeah, quality um, control. Because yeah. that's when I I really started hearing about Lil Baby on they on the QC exactly uh, yeah. collaboration mix yeah. tape that they was dropping for. They had that's all their artists rotated over to Ghana. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's when I started yeah. fi- figuring out who these different artists were, mm-hmm. and then now it's like Lil Baby. Honestly, he, yeah, if you want to be honest, off. yeah, he's he's kind of bigger than the Migos right now. Yeah, so, Even though they I mean, last only, album only was nice. because the Migos been out was, longer. Was decent. Yeah, yeah. Migos they've been, been out, out They've right. actually been out longer than people yeah. expected. No, they've been out since like 2013. 2013. If you're playing music in, col- in my college time, then you've been out for a minute. Man, nah, yeah. they've been yeah. out for that a long a time. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, it don't seem like it because they've kind of kept their momentum up mm-hmm. exactly. their yeah. momentum been at a very all time high yeah and what other rap group do you know of yeah this really not exactly yeah. so I mean I wouldn't say Lil Baby is you have YBN but you know I wouldn't say he's better he's just more that's current that's yeah he's, like, he's new he's, he's like this is his this is his time like the Migos Pretty had their prime yeah where well, everybody they was, they was, was doing everything they really it were. was a new thing it was popping mm-hmm. like they was the sound they were and the I sound I can say a lot of artists did take from their sound yeah Oh, yeah, they can actually, they yeah. The wave. They can actually mm-hmm. say that they started a wave. Facts. They rode no. the wave and they hopped off of it. Like, yeah, that's, that's what they did. They did that to, to pillar. That's Basically. what a lot of people do. Mm-hmm. I want to go. I want to fucking go. We can go. We can go to um, Joey Uptown and on West Time. Like I want us. I literally to seen that. Like that's I want a, us to go do. That's oh, what I. That that's what I want to like, go why do. Why did I see Joey Uptown? Because <laughs> well, I was at Tesla on West Time. Makes sense. Never mind. <laughs> that's where I want to go. I love me a piece. So what is that? It's I drove nice, past it. I was like, I don't restaurant. know why I keep reading this name. But. It's a restaurant. Hmm. A new one. that they just opened. For mm-hmm. the bougies? <laughs> nah. Nah, be honest, man. Put a mid, mid, middle class. Pricing. What you been there? Mm-mm. Say the pricing, man. Uh-huh. Middle class. Just say the pricing, man. <laughs> it's not Chili's. <laughs> <laughs> we know that. Say <laughs> list. Like, we know that. Yeah, I've, been a, I've been a two for 20 guy my Dana, entire we, life. We, we go for lot, not a lot. I now, feel so. that. Bro. Uh, um, steak, what is it called? Steak, steak eighty eight or some shit. I forgot. Forty eight. Forty eight. Steak forty eight. Mm-hmm. That shit was expensive. I know some of them. Yeah, that, is that on camera? That's not low end. Though. <laughs> no, I'm I went with uh. I'm about to say, he, he was he uh, probably been once. It was Zay and Courtney's like engagement. When they say the yeah. wrong name, they've been there once. That's the only time I've been there. That's steak, last. Steak, <laughs> steak forty eight. Shit, I was I was new to the prices. I was new to the prices. <laughs> what are you talking? About? No. Bougie. Bro, that shit I, I bought was like damn near $30. She said yeah. it all. You know you full of cap because you know at the end of the day I will not spend no shit if I don't have Bro, to. Bro, that I bought like some pasta. That hoe was damn near $30. If I don't have to? Girl, I'm still the dude when we go out to eat. When we go out to eat, I still get the water mm. and drink your juice. That's how you stay having it. Mm. You don't he might spend money, money on you. She right? know I'm he cheap. He spend money on himself. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. I'll drink water. That's and some shit I do. I'll drink <laughs> your seconds. He, he don't be trying to make his own lemonade no more? Okay, I yeah, I remember. I yeah, he I did. I remember <laughs> taking. I remember taking kiss. And he used to do that every time at Denny's, bro. He didn't want to. He didn't want to pay for lemonade. <laughs> me and Kiss. Me and Kiss got water lemons with the sugar drop. <laughs> me and Kiss both was at Chamagacha. I was oh trying to God. find a way to make it as cheap as I'm possible. I'm pulling the tax. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, I know I'm gonna spend a hundred dollars here, but oh, yeah. let me see what I gotta do to not mm-hmm. spend as much. See if I can cut some corners. Mm-hmm. I used to get my lemons. I was like, do I have to valet? All right. My okay, lemons, all right, my right, lemons with my you. sugar. <laughs> I let them valet my Honda and shit. There I was like, go. I guess See, I got to valet. You should have been doing that. <laughs> now we want to valet at the gallery and shit just to run I in there for valet, two minutes. Though. He FaceTime us to let us know. He I didn't valet. He tried though. to valet at the gallery just to run in there real quick. I wouldn't. I was. It was a while. I was in there for a while. I mean, when you're bougie, you can do it like that. But I'm not. <laughs> he just needed something to do. <laughs> I was My not. Got right, of course, too. It's he more, got time. It's more safer parking. to valet. You said what? Is it more safer to valet? I know it's a stupid question. I know, like, yeah, it's right up in yeah. the front. It's safer to valet yeah. then. Okay. Yeah. And I not only that, that. holidays. Like, it's, it's, where is it? Bins. You can't just well, park yeah, your bins yeah. anywhere. Oh my god! You know, I park at the back. How much is valet? I don't want nobody park near me. Okay. How much is valet at Gallery? Well, I don't know. I ain't. I ain't get it, bro. Not this time. He gets people to valet. Nah, you said you said a price. It was like twenty. 
but he don't know. He rubbed he's his like knee. 20. He rubbed his hey, teeth. Just I told you. Just two Whataburger meals. Hell no. I told you. So you so, ain't hear him on the phone. He's like, I ain't parking with the, everybody else. I ain't parking I with the regular you. people. Oh when he get his shit ballet, he tell the dude to park it away from all the other cars. Oh my god! It's, it's, it's not even the fancy. Or leave it here. Mercedes. Leave it up here. I probably end up being the most fancy or not. not all, it's so a Mercedes. I'm quiet. And you gotta let you heard know. Brandon. Don't he on the way. He nigga, say. I think of my TRS shit every damn day. Be like, hey, you sure you wanna? Shit. We recording. Oh, we are. Oh, Oh, uh, he 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 gonna be the the leader of the bougie. Right, he said he probably will be. <laughs> hey, I ain't mad at it. Shit, exactly like, Are y'all okay with the footage? Cause I ain't editing. We ain't thinking about it. Damn it, I've been good my whole life. I deserve a little. Yeah, bit you deserve time. it. So did Damn we start it. recording already, or we just rolling? So yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop Fuck with it. the bougie jokes. Cause I probably yeah. Cause y'all like it. You gonna be there soon? Yeah, I probably will. Hey, the camera cut off early in case y'all people this four minutes in or however long y'all in. Family, I don't want to talk to. Yeah, you gonna be there. Let me be quiet. He baby. gonna be there, so I may not be the leader after a while. After a while, yeah. Ooh, shit. No. Yeah, it, it may be Brandon, man. I Brandon know about Brandon to be lit. out here with every new shoe. Bro, possible. I got new got, shoe, new Brandon, wheel. Brandon just got lit. You know why? I got friends. Mm-hmm. I count on my his hand. He hey, got I don't friends. Wanna... I got, got M's friends? on my mind. <laughs> you know, I just be quiet, man. Oh, M's. Shit. Uh, Hey man, Brandon, hey, Brandon, get it off your chest, man. Yeah, that's that's wrong, man. You feel like you got a lot to say. You got to flex it, it, it's, a little. It's some survivalness. We'll say that. Hey man, do what you got to do, bro. You got to flex a little bit. It's not like it's given to you. You are working for it. Hey, damn right. Well, <laughs> there it goes. So, damn right. so five this, hours on a damn editing, which took should take me. That ain't that. Ain't, no, I don't do that. <laughs> that's <laughs> your computer. Oh, no, I'm good that's now. I'm good. That's now. your computer, though. Hey, this week was a new record, bro. I killed him at it so quick. I was like, Oh no, he well, he told me, oh yeah, really, I'm done with it. I was like, okay. It's really right. your computer, bro. It ain't even it you. Really once you get the, the faster for what computer, y'all are, 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 like what you're editing, like that shouldn't be. Yeah, once yeah. you get the faster computer, bro. Yeah, yeah you gonna like, be like, damn. This, if you have to do like a music video, videos, man, yeah, yeah, bro. Right. You bro, seen? I don't know if you. I took a picture of doing a music video one time, and it was just going from the top all the way to the bottom, all cut, all through it. And I got nest and shit. in there. So you got layers on layers on layers. Into another layer, into another uh, timeline. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, if you're editing like it's yeah. extensive, yeah, man. So, hey, man, get you, get you, <laughs> trust me, get you something nice. Something. You want me to be the the, the head boozy? You goddamn right, man. Yeah. I'm he, tired of it. He, tired he of pull up in it in his own in some form for real. I'm like, okay, Damn. Should I just send a video to a client? Not I'm gonna dodge that thing. <laughs> hey, oh, I'm with it. That's a hard work. I'm yeah, with it, man. I, I gotta finish the edit. Love so, what was, what was the last topic we was on? Because, God damn it, we didn't got off track. Shit. We're we talking about Lil Wayne. Uh, yeah. anyway. I'm from the vote, but I need me I'm a over it. He's not Lil Wayne, though. Yeah, in, my, in my eyes, he's not. Lil no, Wayne no, is Lil no, Wayne. Lil Baby, Lil Baby. Lil Baby's Lil Baby. Oh, yeah, perfect. that's facts. That's just what it is. Lil Baby Hard for what he does, like, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you did say Kanye was doing a listening event. He was, right? Houston this Friday. You said Kanye? Yeah. Kanye. In Houston? Yeah. You gonna stay? Mm. I wonder if somebody gonna try to sneak in that hole too. No I thought he was still doing it in a Mercedes. No, nah, he said he's coming to Houston this Friday. You hear them? So, Did you hear? No, in a Mercedes Stadium. Yeah, mm-hmm. I thought you get notifications mm. on your. No, car. it was on the shade room. It was already you get, sold out. He said you get notifications yeah. in your car. No, that's why. <laughs> Anything to do? With I don't Mercedes. know where. It yeah, is, but uh, is he having a Mercedes Friday? Stadium? Ding. Oh damn, that shit should be. It's gonna Just be packed. Just in case, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be packed. wherever y'all go, make sure y'all get there early, and I mean super early because it's gonna be uh, packed. COVID. Yes, uh, I'm really <laughs> good. Said, uh, no, yeah, I'm really good everybody on, and their grandma. Really good. Everybody human COVID interaction. Again, all of a sudden, I'm like, good on inter- human interaction. To be honest with you, the lockdown was a blessing for me. I loved it. I was like, shit. I love yeah, that too. Play yeah. Xbox. Well, yeah, that too. But yeah. peacefully, without having to worry about going. It out, seemed like we're girl, we're, we're projected to shoot back up. Yep. Um, in a scary way. Because the new strand. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. lockdown will be more doper now, cause and because people who were vaccinated still can catch the new strains. So Bring just, movies back. It's just to like HBO all over Max again. Regularly. Nah, That's for all sure. I, asked. For I sure. was enjoying that shit. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about that. Scarlet is uh, suing Disney over that. What? Over um, I guess the uh, Black Widow wasn't supposed to stream on mm-hmm. Disney. It wants you. It was supposed to be just in movie theaters, and oh, she wanted to be like, high yeah, class. it kind of messed up. The Ain't nothing sales. about to be just in movie mm. theaters. Sorry, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. HBO was, uh, Max, me please. The girl that did Corilla, she's about. She was. She's gonna sue Disney too mm-hmm. over that. 
Yeah, it was so, Emma. Or not Emma. Uh, basically, it was contracts only being theaters. But yeah, I mean, what you so, what you expect? Exactly. You Your know, sales still, gonna go down. But this yeah. don't Disney own everybody? Exactly. Okay, uh, yeah, I don't you. know. How all right, they right. They're gonna mess around and they're gonna scrap that, this, Black Widow. Mm-hmm. So, well, they may just settle. Like, here you go, bro. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> they got that type of money. Just, just the album gonna be Black Widow. He go two hundred million. Yeah. All right. Here you go, bro. You, you good now? You good? All right. I mean, you already out the series anyway. So okay. All right, look, we're richer than Jeff. Here you go. Facts. Don't mess with the mouse. Exactly. That's the oh, one person you you don't you you don't, bro. You really don't. Facts, bro. You will never be seen or heard you from again. Be, yeah. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> quiet as a mouse, man. Facts. That's a rap. Literally. That's a raps for real. So yeah, literally don't, quiet as a mouse. Don't miss. That's the one company. Yeah, bro. We we nah. They not only will they cancel us, nigga. They <laughs> cancel our family, our loved ones. Exactly. Them niggas don't play, bro. They don't cancel. Cancel. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Whole so, lineage so, gone. Gone. So what lineage? Everybody is back in a sneaker game. We're back in our sneaker bag. We are. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm back in there with y'all. You are. You did. Um, yeah, he been. I'm trying to get it with y'all. Yeah, be proud this week. Everybody. Yeah, he been getting everything, man. Yeah, I've been trying to, you know, nice. make it. Yeah, <laughs> all the salt. Um, I ain't been on Nike in a minute. <laughs> I was actually about to he taking flights. Order. I'm not gonna lie to That's you. why he taking flights. What? Um, I've been I've been looking at stuff trying to put in the order soon anyway. So same, nice. bro. It, it's just the fact that you know I'm trying to make up for lost times. Exactly. Uh, That's how you do it right there, man. Being a you uh, prioritize, man. You 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 build your foundation, and now you can buy. I was always a sneakerhead growing up, but it's just the fact that the funds and the family, yeah. you know, just you mm-hmm. couldn't really buy certain expenses. Exactly. You couldn't make certain expenses as a youngin. And then when I grew up, yeah. it's just certain things I wanted to do first. You know, exactly. I wanted to be able to, uh, to establish for certain foundations before I went crazy. Right. So it's just always to people out there, man. Like always be mindful of what matters the most in mm-hmm. the moment. Build your foundation up because once you got your foundation, bro, once you earn and own mm-hmm. something Thanks. in this world, you go, forever good. Go so, crazy. Do what you got to do. Go crazy. So that's where I'm at in the point of my life. And I just want to, you know, we back in our game, bro. I've been talking to Brandon a lot on mm-hmm. some shoes and stuff like that. So I feel like we're going to be bringing some heat to y'all soon. So go ahead and start yeah. that shoe page, Brandon. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like it. I feel like it. It is. I feel it's like happening. It. It's coming. Sneaker Billy oh, Brand or something like that. Man. Sneaker Billy, hey, God damn it, ten percent already. Look, just ten, hey, just ten. Hey, put Y'all a D. Dub knife look at the eyes. Look at the eyes. Hey, <laughs> oh, nigga, I didn't even think about it. Put a D at the end of the brand, bro. Duh. <laughs> man, hey. Sneaker hey, Billy Brand. That's two percent right there. All right, that's yeah, 2%. All right. So that's 12%. That's right? 12. That's it. I'm a giving guy. Right that's it. Just well, I, I, That makes one of you because okay, well, another one over here that just. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. 50K. <laughs> wow. You know what? Okay. Shout out to Ross making 50K on this K channel. Sub, Appreciate Come on, bro. That, Big man. yourself up, bro. Yes, man. Appreciate that. You don't Appreciate understand that. how proud exactly. of a moment that it was. I didn't even notice it. Like, I noticed mm-hmm. it was like at 48 last time I seen it. Mm-hmm. And then um, I seen you post it today. Uh, on your your page, when I opened up Instagram, I laughed at the, the first picture. I'm like, bro, he had his head. I was like, man, I know no, he's crying. No, I, 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 I haven't seen it. I'm like, I don't know it's about to be epic, bro. That shit was great. Like, I haven't seen it yet either, but I'm yeah. like, this is perfect. It's, it's just Cause pr- I a proud it moment, up. bro. Exactly. It was like at 49 something. I was like, here it come. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a proud moment. It's only going up, man. And I'm just glad that you definitely, bro. You you one of the people that stuck it out. You took it yeah. serious for what it was, and once you realize. Um, once you realize that you actually could do it, and you believed in yourself and your confidence increased doing it as well, you flourished. Mm-hmm. Like I always knew. I was like, man, watch this boy just go crazy. Cause it's like it's one of them things where it's like if people just believe in them, if people just believed in themselves on mm-hmm. half the shit they trying to do, bro, the world man, like you would that's... you would just. Facts. Reach unimaginable really is, goals. Man. Facts, so man. Yeah. the fact that he just really started to believe in his craft and really start putting investing in it. Because remember, I was real big on investing. Mm-hmm. I'm like, bro, them investments is killer, but work with investments equals success mm-hmm. a lot of times. Facts. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Or 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 um, you learn. You know, you learn from your mistake. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, you always get a W from whatever investments you make. Nah, thanks, man. So appreciate not that. Appreciate that you there, nah, man. It's, it's a dope thing, bro. Yeah, appreciate y'all, man. It's uh, it's it's been a, a long time coming. Uh, uh, I know for a fact. Uh, 
you inspired me years ago. But like, yo, you should start your channel, bro. Start your own channel. That's what he was always telling us, Brandon. Like, just, hey, you know, the main channel is, is going to help us start our own stuff so we can all just create, you know what I'm saying, and, and cultivate our content, you know, personally and on the main channel as well. So I appreciate you for, you know, supporting me on that, bro, because I didn't oh, think, right. you know, in my head – I could do that by myself. You know what I'm saying? I, I never would have thought in a million years, you know, the Instagram, no, I mean the the main page, yeah, that was, you know, I was oh, we, you know, we we rocking with it. That's cool. Right. But for someone to actually just check my content out for me, you know what I'm saying? That 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 was dope, you know, and a lot of them a lot of the subscribers are part of the clutch squad so it was cool to see that you know what i'm saying so hey man it's 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 all about just the dedication and grind and i appreciate each and every one of y'all for just supporting and just you know motivating me to keep going man and Shit, i'm glad i'm glad you jumped in all the bags the streaming bag the, yeah all the bags. i was happy <laughs> for sure bags are key. Exactly. for sure man so now it's, it's time to get brandon in the mix man he got yeah, over like, yeah. a oh, yeah, thousand bro. subscribers third, with no vids up, yes man oh, so man, that's that's, that's, a that's a flex right there shout out to my other that's subscribers man flex. no vids oh, no. they just subscribe What's off the, the stream let me be a thousand and one right 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 Shout it's truly uh, true Billy Brand on YouTube, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, true mm-hmm. Billy Brand. True yeah. Billy Brand, yeah. Like he ain't got I no videos. I saw my last name on there too, but I'm probably gonna. He don't even know his name. A little bit. So yeah, it's, it's just true Billy Brand story. Like, so it's time know. to get get Brandon in the mix. I've been telling him, hey, bro, yeah. it's that time. This is the year, you know. Start For your sure. channel. Year, start start coming. doing your weight loss journey on there, and yes. all anything you want to do, the shoes, it's the funny be, yeah, content. Mainly weight loss, but yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a variety of you know. Get on that, on man. The, so, now's the time. You know, we we man. we're we're in our we're we're getting into our prime. So it's it's like it's one of those things where it's like okay, let's keep this going. Let's let's. Let's keep creating. Let's keep putting out the content. And uh, shout out to Dub and Nisha, man. Yes. Hey. Yeah. Because yeah. I've been seeing Dub. that stuff and on the regular. Hey, Dub. And Nisha. Yeah. Dub. And Nisha. Yeah. Hey. Like, I've been seeing Stop that. playing. Oh, wipe yeah. you behind the camera. Exactly, the, man. The, the, so the it's, actually it's, the tune they it's, got. it's been cool to, to see <laughs> the growth on their page and <laughs> – and you yeah, know sure. y'all almost at 30k real, you know what i'm yeah. saying yeah. so it's, it's just one of those things where everybody's you know they everybody eating everybody growing exactly. everybody's you know creating you know shout out to sir dance a lot himself in his, in his creating music video bag like getting yep. these sponsorships like i've been seeing that and it's it's dope to see all these things it's like we're making opportunities for ourselves. Definitely. You feel me? Yeah. And you know, trying to create something that our children and you know our family can right. you know really flourish from. So exactly. at the end of the day, man, this is this is what it's all about. This is what exactly. we created the podcast for the Clutch and Round Sports Talk. Make sure y'all well, check that out. Y'all Every mm-hmm. everything you know, yes, Nisha sir. got some stuff show. in the works. Like everything yeah. that we doing, bro. Is, happy over there. Is 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 all coming Let's together because. Because oh, yes. <laughs> we're, we're all trying to create and have something so that way when it's all said and done, when we, you know, God willing, we we all in our, our late years, we can be like, bro, we set out our goals and we did yeah, it. Man. Mm-hmm. And, and that's one of the things where it's like it's, it's still surreal to me because I, I know we make the bougie jokes and stuff like that, but I never thought in a million years I would ever own a binge. There you go. I never thought I would own – something like that or even have the space that i live in or even be in a situation where i can help out my family as much as i can or even right. have fifty thousand right. people tune in to me i right. never thought that and it's not because i didn't believe in myself it's just it wasn't that that process it wasn't that 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 mindset yet and it wasn't until you know, me and Dub linked up, linked up with True Billy, yeah. linked up with Sir Dance a lot, and everything started falling into place. Everything started the motivation. You know what I'm saying? Like right. at the end of the day, these little talks that we have, y'all see on the podcast, it's just us kicking it. You know, having Thanks. a good time. But sure. we need this because it 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 combine it get it keeps us together. It keeps mm-hmm. us motivated. Right. It keeps us focused. Hey, you should be doing this. Or hey, should yeah, hey, check this out. Or hey, let's let's come up with this. And it helps everybody. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's just it's a blessing. I'm very thankful to just be in the situation I'm in. Very thankful to have the friends and uh, family that I have, man. And hey, bro, we we going up. Not just on personal hey, channels. Man. In the clutch. All you know, around. ENT, bro. Up. 
we we gonna be out of Millie soon, and exactly. you know we yes, want y'all to be we hey. want y'all to be there. Hey. It's gonna be sooner than we realize. You it, know bro. what's crazy is like as a kid, of course I want to be famous. Like everybody, everybody wants yeah. to be famous or whatnot. But then as a teenager and a young adult, I wanted to do something to like really like mm-hmm. be like an inspiration to people or whatnot. Mm-hmm. And of course, you know reality kicks in. You know you really you know you go a different route and whatnot. Now to be where I'm at on this channel and to like constantly mm-hmm. getting messages saying, mm-hmm. "Bro, I'm a fan of you." Mm-hmm. I'm a supporter. You inspire me, like, bro. You all want you, you y'all bring you know uh, y'all make my day better and stuff. I'm like, Facts. bro, it's kind of like something I kind I like thought of. You know, mm-hmm. as you know, as a younger dude and as a kid, I'm like, it's actually happening. Yeah, Which right. Is this is a like, real thing. It's the real deal. You know, even though of course it's YouTube, but I'm like, bro, it's. I feel like damn, like it's you the know, new age TV, man. Yeah, yeah, like you know, I feel like I'm one of those. Like celebrities or whatnot, which I know I'm not, but like your fan, your you know your fan reaches out to you and stuff like that, and mm-hmm. say like, bro, if it wasn't for y'all, you know I would be this, you know, if it mm-hmm. wasn't for y'all, I'd be a this. And I'm like, that's really, bro, that's just an amazing experience, yeah. bro. So, Facts. Definitely. Yeah, no, it's it's one definitely. of them things that's key, and I mean, bro, just just something that everybody was saying is it's the friends, bro, it's the team. Mm-hmm. It's having right. people that's gonna call you out on your shit mm-hmm. when you're yeah. not doing what you're supposed to do. Definitely. And that's that's kind of one of the biggest things. Like even when we did the table talk, like we put all that shit on the table for real. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's that's what I always like. One thing about me, bro, I always can see the potential in people. Right? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I've always personally wanted a group of people and a team of people to work with that was actually going to be motivating and pushing me. Mm-hmm. You know, I never wanted to be around people that wasn't going to push me to okay, get to the next man. level, and I still yeah. don't. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I'll be motivational to people, but to just have somebody to call on real quick, I want that to be somebody that gets me out of a rut just as much as I can get them Fact. out of yeah, a rut. Bro. You okay. know, when you always talking to people that are just constantly yeah. draining from you, yeah. but mm-hmm. not adding fuel to your energy, mm-hmm. sometimes they take a toll on you, man. Cause, I would say my life has been great ever since I leaked back with these boys, man. So Hey, man, and man, that's, so. that's, that's good to, last to hear. Year, yeah, it was this, very shitty in the year before when I lived. This is 2021, definitely, man. It's been that's blessing. that's it was good always to hear, love. bro. It was yeah, always man. love, man. We just always mm-hmm. wanted Brandon to see he was Thanks. always welcome. Yeah, I mean, he yeah. just kind of had to go, just like me and Ross talked about. I mean, it was a little it's a situation where we didn't understand. Yeah, but I always said Brandon got to figure it out for himself. True, and mm-hmm. it was definitely a life lesson, man. Like, do not, don't don't go on your own when it comes to that. Like, you can't be, be in your own head. Exactly, mm-hmm. you yeah, can't yeah, be yeah. in your own head because it's very dangerous. They say you know loneliness is the devil's playground. Bro, I really believe Facts. It, bro. I that's the truth. Your thoughts, your you know, your assumptions, you know, they can just start kicking in. Man. Facts, man. So. Start beating yourself down. Facts. Facts. I'm not good enough. Nobody care about me. Nobody mm-hmm. love me. Yeah. Like you telling yourself all this stuff over and over mm-hmm. and over and over. All you that never was know. Through my head, yeah. But you know the fact that I always say keep. A, it, that's why it's important for camaraderie. You know what I'm saying? Like just having a good, you know what I'm saying? Positive, inspirational group of people to just be amongst. Mm-hmm. It's just gonna motivate you, man. Like, yeah, look facts. at what we doing. Right. Look where we came from and what we doing. I mean, people don't even understand yeah, the beginning man. where we yeah. were using the lighting yeah. we was using was lampshades. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I be saying people <laughs> people will talk about where you at, but they don't know where you came from. Facts. Or yeah. what you went through. People always they can always say, yeah. "Oh, you 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 this or you think? Oh, you, you lucky? Yeah, like no, nope. nigga, that, that, works, that yeah. shit <laughs> took a lot of five a.m. Exactly. in the mornings and ten o'clock shit. late night recordings. Yes, People don't know about that. Brandon used to get off at ten, yeah. mm. and we had to record after that. And I had to Tired, be up by five thirty, yeah. six in the morning to go to work and bring the kids. And it's like this man is a machine. That shit was crazy, bro. Mm-hmm. I believe he's an android, really. I don't think he's pure, all human. Which one, 16 like, or 7? Oh, oh, he God. said, right. 17, make sure. 17, 17. 17. Make this clear. Exactly, exactly man. Seven cause, my favorite number. Uh, okay. <laughs> I've seen this man. This is, of course, he was already a family man. He was a husband and whatnot. Still be up maybe 3 o'clock in the morning editing and whatnot. And he had to go maybe mm-hmm. with an hour or two asleep just to go to work. But yet. It had to get it, it done, man. man. It's that's just the, the that's the work. That's the work people don't see, but it's like at the end of the day, exactly. I always like see. I always like going through it because yeah. it just makes it that much sweeter when you make it. That's true. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So yeah. again, it's always love, man. It's, uh, we're gonna end yeah. it off on this positive note. Yeah, yeah, but it's yeah. always love, man. We just glad that people have been supporting us for this long. Exactly. So it's love like not only, so yep. not only shout out to Ross, not only shout out to Ross, not only start uh, shout out to uh, Dance uh, Billy. Uh, myself and my wife, all the accomplishments and things she got okay. coming oh, in the yeah, sports yeah. show, but it's just a show. Create, do yeah, do create, whatever bro. it is that's gonna make you feel better than what you did the day before, the day before, mm-hmm. or for someone else. You know what I'm saying? Remember, you always gonna work for somebody else. 
when you're just working. But what right. you do with those minimum amount of hours that you have for yourself is what's going to count towards your, you know, long going dreams. Mm -hmm. So Excellent. always invest whatever time you have into you because you never know where it's going to get you. Facts. And we, and we some living examples of that. Yes, sir. All right. Words. Anything stupid to end off on? I mean. I'm sure there's plenty. There's a reason why I was a fan of Adam Sandler because he always had the Bro, you can the do really it <laughs> guy in yo, there. And the really he, shit. Like a lot of people don't realize he brought his home team with him, mm -hmm. and they always brought like that is goals vibes right there, man. In, in exactly. some way, in every single movie, yep. yeah. the same people. I'm telling you, yeah. Except for like Uncut Gems, that was a little depressing. But besides yeah. that, one. That was a, <laughs> I've seen that movie like three times. That's a good movie, even though it is. Depressing it's a, it's at a very the end. good movie, but it's 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 crazy. A lot of it is like ad lib. Like it wasn't even like acting. Yeah, like basically they told you I right, just be you, do this and because it was it based worked. off of you know exactly. a story like that actually happened. So for mm -hmm. real, yeah, I got it. Like, but yeah, but for the most part is you can do it. Yeah, yep. like y'all can you really can do, do it. For it. Real. Exactly. For real. Facts. For real. That's that's and you know what? Nowadays you can actually tell a story through art. So yeah. we got a lot of y'all love the skit with the lockdown thing. Mm -hmm. yes, we're gonna man. start oh, using we're gonna start views, using man. our art in ways to where we can yeah. tell what we feel like without just talking to you we're just putting it in the art form yeah. as most people actually catch on to things more when you create a movie or something like that so right um that's what we want to do and just to we're never going to limit ourselves we don't have a ceiling no matter what you come what made you come to our channel whatever we don't have a ceiling and we'll never put ourselves in a box so facts yeah. old anywho much love to y'all man episode yes. 54 in the box mm -hmm. keep on supporting keep on subscribing listening to anywhere you can listen to your podcast man Thanks. and you know what comment down below what y'all like about the podcast which y'all want to hear more of and a very out of the box question or comment put down your favorite book or mm. book recommendation mm. so to see all my readers out there mm -hmm. put down a book recommendation so that way we can see what people are listening to or reading that's inspiring them so I'm love sorry. you. The Given Tree is still my favorite book. The Given Tree. Yes, I know it's a little kid, but I don't give a damn. <laughs> okay, that is gotcha. all my all-time favorite. All righty then. All right. So hey, um, we love you. Support. Peace <laughs> out, man. Episode fifty-four. Hey. Woo!